as we sit here today, the biggest risk today, is it doing too much for you guys or doing too little? Well, I think what we need to do is just act, and we're acting. And so I think we need to move, and we need to move methodically toward a clearly restrictive stance, which we're doing. And then, in my view, then we either pause, depending on the data, we're going to have to see how this plays out. Uh, we get to above 3.4 by year end, or at or, at or above 3.4. And then we see, we have to let some of this play out. We don't have to keep climbing, 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 then it go down very quickly. Let's stay up there and let the economy do its thing. So for how long, right? And this is with yeah. Jan Hatzia's point, where he said, keep it there for possibly years and see the trickle-out effect. We don't know. I mean, we really need to let the data play out. You just don't know a priori. What data are you looking at? Inflation number one, for sure. That's the issue. That's Headline the Headline or issue. core? Well, uh, core for sure, because you know the volatile the volatility of energy and food is extreme, particularly because of the situation we have in Ukraine and around the world. This has been uh, this whole setup and uh, the chairman's speech, something of a, a totemic issue for Wall Street, and everybody's going to be tuning in yeah. at the top of the next hour. What's the message that the Fed would like investors to take away today? So I don't know what the Fed has. I can only speak for myself. I think the, the message is from me that we need to get inflation under control. We will do what it takes to get inflation under control. And hopefully, we can do that in a way that does not ruin what otherwise is a good economy. You look at the jobs data. You look at other parts of the economy. We don't want to do this in a way that really just squashes the jobs market right now. Is this whatever it takes, or is this Mario Draghi, whatever it takes? because everybody on Wall Street yeah. wants to know, would you risk recession to bring inflation down? It's possible. It's always possible to have a recession. At this point, I don't think it's in my forecast that it's probable. I think we can, we can still do this. There's still a path to do this. To have, if, if there is a recession, it would be shallow and short, in my view. There's uh, two camps. One says get to the terminal rate as quickly as possible to get ahead of inflation. The other says move more slowly because you want to make sure that the lags don't bring down the economy. Yeah. Uh, which camp are you in? Again, where I am is let's get up to the clearly restrictive stance. 3.4 is a good number, 3.5. And then let's see how things play out from there. This word neutral has been thrown around yeah. a lot in the last couple of yeah, weeks. Yeah. You're smiling already. <laughs> so talk to me about what you think neutral is. What's restrictive? What is it and how do we know? Yeah. It's clearly above three, for sure. Uh, how much above? Again, I think we just have to see. Uh, today's data, we can talk about that. We're seeing glimmers of hope. And I emphasize glimmers of hope on the inflation front. We're not done. And so we need to continue to raise rates to make sure that those glimmers turn into a clear downward trend. 